Welcome back. This is Tabby Cat, of course, with the Weed Variety Hour Part 2. In this edition, episode, uh, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> um, we got the old uh, train wreck, followed by Old Man OG, which will be followed by Girl Scout cookies, all of which came from the same place, a local uh, dispensary here in San Diego. I'll keep them private. Um, and really quality buds, good prices, especially because they have a little value deal going on here. <sighs> Been to this place about three times. Yeah. It's gonna start off with the train wreck. Here we go. Cheers, guys. Really nice. I'm telling you, it's so good, dude. So good. It's like lemony Snicket bars on crispy French sugar pounds. Wow. And then, you know, it's that, it's that perfect train wreck, you know, like, gets you going, gets you going, really psychedelic. And then it brings you down nice and easy, you know, for me at least. I don't get the wreck part, but some people come down pretty hard. Um, so, yeah, there you go. That's my experience with it. Uh, I figured today we'll just go like fucking wild, man, you know? Just go crazy, just let let the good times roll, you know? Got a little less bud to, to work with here. So, probably a little less manipulation. Be able to smoke a little more, get a little more out there with some ideas this time. Hopefully create a little discussion. If not, cool. But, um... But yeah. Now we're off to the old man. Old man OG. Um, you know, the old man and the train wreck are sort of similar. Very coated, very frosty. Some nice dense nugs in there, but for the most part, a little, a little airier than I prefer, but still very, very potent just because they're coated. So it's grown right. It's just probably grown in a way say hi it's probably hydroponic <laughs> so a little cleaner so it's a little more plant than uh, other Whew, that's great here you go cheers guys once again I am Mm. Mm. Real just like that's it dude. I mean pretty much the day is done now, you know? Not much is gonna get done. I guess that's what this old man or the OG does at least to me. Um What's this? We got some more. I didn't even know I had more. Now we're gonna ship it on over to Girl Scout cookies. The jug, I'm telling you. Smells like it smells like a moose. Like a like a like a moose pie. You know? Out in the desert. Those of you who know what pie refers to, you know what I'm talking about. You know how that's a good sign. Especially given how sparkly and shiny these cookies are. These cookies are absolutely beautiful. 
absolutely perfection for me at least every time it gets better so I can't complain about them you know got some purple in there you know like it should uh, I believe the true the true crosses are uh, Durban Poison Purple Kush OG or some kind of purple it's really nice really, really dense really fruity good good mellow strain Definitely one of my favorites. Can't say it's quite as <sighs> instantly effective as the OG is. But it definitely is as strong, which is a good thing, you know? It's just a completely different angle, completely different strength, too, so it's perfect. Every time it tastes like the Samoas to me. Every time. My favorite ones. Always got a little bit of that caramel. Mm. So. There's it's been a common theme throughout a lot of this craziness that we call the world, and that is the same three or four families seem to control the upper echelons of everything. Know. And the purest example is the American presidency, in which only one president is not related to the other 43. So what does that mean? Well, that means either this a breeding factory for presidency on some level or they're handpicked or it's a combination of the two so in the end it boils down to the same thing so no matter what side of the fence you're on in most any argument regarding politics or the people involved in it talking about well the same person or the same ideas just cloaked in a different presentation in other words well whatever um, you know. whether or not you believe there are underground reptilian bases in and around the United States and otherwise. It is recorded, documented, evidence, and reported by the military, yet suppressed by agents above the military in means of public safety. So they don't think we can handle hearing something like <clears throat> Maybe we're controlled by alien forces, or at least on some level controlled by people who worship alien forces. So either they're real, or the people who control us worship them, whereby we have to worship them.
pretty twisted. So, I just say, do what you want. As long as you're not stepping on toes, you'll be alright. There we go.